How's it going guys? Joe Fuse here from uh, Grizzly RP. Just going to do a quick video on how to use a steering wheel and pedals when it comes to the server. We got a new script uh, that that added that's going to allow us to use G27, G29, G920 are all compatible and I think joysticks soon are going to be compatible as well. I believe the shifter, the uh, optional Logitech shifter they can also buy for like 50 bucks is also supported. There's more to come from the uh, maker of that script. But right now we're just going to go through a little bit of a setup uh, for those that have any questions or have any problems setting up uh, the software and stuff. So first off, uh, most of it's Logitech. I'm going to go over some settings in the Logitech G Hub. It's called Logitech G Hub. If you don't have it, it manages all your Logitech devices. We're going to be changing some settings here uh, for the steering wheel. Uh, first off, you have your operating range. What this does is it's either uh, makes bigger or makes smaller the uh, operating range so in order to get a full turn to the left or a full turn to the right by default you have to do those full two two or three spins uh full 360s with the wheel lowering this i have it down at about 300 lowering this makes it to where i only have to turn the wheel this much to get full rotation to the left and this much full rotation to the right to turn in game all right so that's the first thing is your operating range. You can adjust that to how you want. It's highlighted in blue here. That's how much smaller it is compared to the all the way over here that you see, which is the default or the maximum that you could do. Uh, sensitivity, don't worry too much about that. Centering spring strength, um, this is a totally optional thing. Uh, you can only change that if you have this down here. Check centering spring and non-force game. So 5M, it's a non-force feedback. So without that, it's just going to center your... Uh, your steering wheel whenever you let go right it's not gonna be if you didn't have that it would just sit there after you let go it wouldn't go back to center you can adjust the strength on that so if i lower it all the way to zero look it's, it's just gonna stay where it's at right if i turn that up to what i had it on which was like 50 it's how much it's gonna pop back if you turn it all the way up it's gonna zip back super fast so mess around with that. That's kind of explaining that. I'm going to keep mine on about 50. And that's essentially my settings. Uh, pedal sensitivity. Uh, I turn a brake all the way up because I don't like how stiff the brake is. But I like uh, touchy brakes. So I turned that all the way up and I left the clutch and accelerator. Again, clutch is based on if you're going to be using manual transmission or not. An accelerator, I kept the same, right? So assignments. I'm going to go over assignments real quick. So specifically for my key binds inside 5M. Um, I have C, which is what you use to see behind you. So I like to drive first person a lot when it comes to trucking. I assigned that C to my paddle shifter, this one right here, by going to uh, keys, finding the C key, and then just dragging it over to that paddle shifter. Bam. B, that changes your view from first person to third person, and it can also bring the camera out a little bit. I don't want to have to reach over when I'm trucking, so I assigned the V key in order to switch back and forth. Um, to my right pedal shifter same thing go down grab V drag it over going into my uh, Four buttons here yours might look a little bit different depending on if you got the ps4 version or not um, Same concept drag what keys you want using the logitech software to assign these so I have B uh, For my seatbelt. I don't want to have to reach over to my keyboard to put on my seatbelt or take it off when I'm getting out and stuff um, So I have the B key obviously assigned to that find the B key drag it over Caps lock, when I'm in a radio, I don't want to have to take my hands off the steering wheel to reach over to my caps lock on the keyboard. So I have that binded to my Y key. Any other keys you want to bind, same concept, right? If you're having your, to reach over on your keyboard a lot to do something that you could easily assign here, just go ahead and do that. Same concept, just drag what key you want over here. Make sure it's assigned for that specific action you want in 5M, and that's all there is to it. All right, so now that we're done with that, uh, we're going to go into your game controllers. This is what calibrates your Logitech, right? By default, it's going to be okay, but uh, if you want to change that rotation in game, right? So to, in order to do a full turn to the left or a full turn to the right, we want to minimize that unless you want to keep it to where you have to rotate that much. I don't want to have to do that. That just takes too much, and it's much easier using keyboard because you just A and D in your insta instant full rotation to the left, full rotation to the right. So... I want to kind of try and match that, but not to where... I don't want to do it too much to where it's like this much movement goes full left or full right, but enough to where 
I have to actually put some effort into it, but not too much, right? So game controllers, open that up. It's going to recognize your G920. And you want to make sure you do all this before you launch 5M, right? So properties. So right here, you can see the middle part there. You can see that right there. That's going to be your steering wheel, turning left and turning right. Your accelerator. You can push down the pedal halfway. It'll go halfway. Brake, same concept. How easy it goes full brake. See how it takes minimal effort for me to do that? By default, you're going to have to like stomp on your brake uh, in order to get that to 100% braking force. Um, so I'll show you how I change that in just a second. That's the biggest thing you can do. And then clutch, I don't worry about it. I kept it at default, right? So you can go to settings and you got to calibrate, right? So for this, I went full left and I then go full right until it stops you Then let go to the center, hit next. Accelerator, I want to use the whole accelerator. So I'm going to push it all the way to floor and release. Braking, this is where it gets tricky, right? So you don't want to have to push the brake all the way to as much as it's got because it's stiff on these G920s, right? At least the G920s, it's really stiff. So for the braking, I actually press down a tiny bit. See where it just jumped up a tiny bit and went back to normal after I released? That's all we want to do, right? That means that I'm going to be able to brake a lot easier. I won't have to like slam down the, ped the brake pedal as much whenever I'm in game wanting to brake. Okay, and the clutch, I leave it the same, so I just fool down and let go for that. You can also adjust that. If you don't want to push down your clutch all the way, if you want that sweet spot to be uh, about halfway, then push down halfway. And then after you calibrate it, finish, and apply, it's going to adjust all that. So now when I break, when I push down the brake pedal a little bit, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go all the way to max like that. You can test it right there. See how easy it is for me to break now? Accelerator, same thing. Clutch, same thing. You can mess with your wheel settings you want. That's just a general kind of setup and what that calibration is about. So if you wanted to mess around with those as well, feel free to. But all I really do is adjust the brake because I don't want to be pushing super hard against the brake and I have a rolly chair. I'm going to go flying back if I have to use the brake that much, right? All right, so okay. Now we're going to load up here in game, okay? I'm going to go ahead and cut to where we get in game. Alright, so we're gonna steal this car. We just loaded in. I'm still default, Dan. He's shooting at me. We're gonna drive way over here. Alright, so to open up the menu that controls the settings of the script that allows you to use your pedal and steering wheel, you're gonna hit J. It's default J. I'm sure you could check it in the settings to see what it is, uh, if, it, if that doesn't work for you. But first, I'm just going to enable a manual transmission. That's what I do. Like I said, this is kind of finicky. It's still at the beginning stages. It's still getting constant updates. Uh, so we're going to do automatic, hit enter. It's going to take off a manual transmission because obviously we want to do it on automatic, right? Enable UI. I like to see if I'm getting throttle response or not. See how when I press the gas pedal, it's showing I'm going full gas. Then brake. I'm going to hit the brake. So if you go forward with the gas, hit the brake, it's going to stop. And then if you hold the brake and continue to push down all the way up to max brake, it's going to go in reverse just like your key, your uh, your S key does uh, normally, right? And the clutch, you can see the clutch is used. Obviously, it's not doing anything because I have it in automatic mode. And that's simply it. You can see that steering wheel. So sometimes you have to open up your G-Hub for it to fucking start giving you feedback again. Sometimes if you tab out, it'll go loose and you can just free spin your wheel. That, but that's just my 920. All you have to do, tab out, and it'll recognize that you're in a game, right? And then... So if you see here, a lot of times it'll automatically say that my wheel is to the left. You can see here I am not touching the wheel. It is straight, but on the screen it is showing my wheel is to the left, right? So again, if you go to game controllers to fix that, again, it's a buggy script. Um, it'll get better, right? Calibrate. I'm going to go all the way to the left. All the way to the right. As much as it lets me, let it go back to center. Next. Accelerator all the way down, let go. Next, brake, we push that down a tiny bit, let go. Next, clutch, I don't use it, so I push it all the way down and let go. Finish, apply, okay, bam. It Now it recognizes that my wheel is fully centered and we should be good to go. So I turn the wheel now. We're able to steer. 
You can adjust again in your Logitech G Hub how easy it is to turn using that operating speed, like I mentioned earlier. Hit the brake, get all the way to a stop, press your brake again, it's going to put you in reverse. And that's it. Easy as that. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me Joe Fuse, hashtag 0817 on Discord. Um, and I'll be able to, tr I'll try and help you out with whatever I can. All right. Bye.